phase seven. And we might announce a little bit through some of the workouts this week. As part of our challenge is certain areas of weakness that most of us come across to do with wrist, strength, mobility, and again, the same in the ankles. So um, wrists and ankles tend to be our most mobile parallel joints that we have. Um, so today we're just gonna do a nice small mobility session, working for a little bit of strength, a little bit of mobility, and just sort of strengthening up the wrists and the ankles. So what you're gonna need for this though, guys, is part of the small joint rehab. We're gonna do the fingers too, okay? Um, that's my towel. So, <laughs> strange things that I give you to do. You're gonna need a little towel, tea towel, or something to that effect. You're going to need a little rubber band. Okay, nice little light resistance one, nothing too spectacular. Okay, so you can just sort of work with going to do a few little exercises with that for the wrist and ankles. And then a little light dumbbell, nothing heavy, we're not doing any big arm movements. You're going to be moving through your wrists with these, okay? So I've got a 2kg and a 1kg, I think. That is, yeah, honestly, that's more than enough. That's all you need, even if you've got a half kg. We're just adding a tiny little bit of extra load to the exercises that we're going to do. And you're going to need a chair, okay? Not just for support. We're going to do uh, some exercises using the chair for those wrists as well. Now this is a really nice but super effective session, okay? So you're not going to be doing any jumping around, big high energy impact movements or anything like that. We're just going to focus on those small little niggly joints, our fingers, our wrists, our ankles. In turn, we will actually tap in a little bit to the knee stability as well and a little bit into those shoulders and those elbows as we do these smaller isolated movements okay so we're just going to start stabilizing those joints we need to make them warm though so nothing too full on all right we're just going to work through those wrists come close so you can see we've got lovely relaxing music my sproglets will probably turn up halfway through this and start making a racket and I haven't brought my keys into the studio so I can't actually shut them off the door um, without shutting myself in and I don't know when they're coming back. <laughs> so push them away and push them through. So we're not holding this for too long. We want to get the blood flowing. Get everything moving, a little bit warmer. Stretching through those fingers as well as we push through. Come back here. I just really want to. I think you're going to really appreciate this today, actually. But um, I might even ping you a little message, sort of free, and you could do this before the challenge as well. Okay, so we're just going to start to uh, get a few more things moving, so I'm just going to move back a little bit. So we're going to roll up through this feet. Let's get the feet first. Yeah, coordination is good. Alright. If I just come side on, you're just sort of rolling up into that pedal, rolling it through. So you're rolling that foot and those toes through the floor. I feel like I'm back in my days of gymnastics warming up. And then we're going to get the arms going too. I feel like Sandy and... What's his name? I don't even know. He's just John Travolta to me in Greece. So yeah, I feel like I'm on that wiggly bridge in the fun house that they do. <laughs> Creating a little wiggly bridge. Lovely. So we're just getting the blood flowing through those feet and those ankles as well. Back the other way. I guess confusing going this way. Lovely. Bring those hands a little bit lower and just push through. Still going through those feet. Lovely. Okay, a little heel raises here then, gang. Just lifting those heels, you can see. Lifting those heels up and just rocking back. So then the toes lift up, roll it up, rock it back if you need to use that wall for support. It's fine. Coming up onto those toes and then pushing back into that heel. Keeping the tummy nice and strong. 
takes some nice little squeezes, clenching that fist to see. All I'm doing is just mobilizing those fingers, taking some nice little squeezes. Imagine you're squeezing a ball. We could have done that. Where's my ball? They're upstairs. We could have done that today though. We'll do that in the next small bit of rehab because I'm going to try and add a few of these in. It's super beneficial. Shake those hands off then, guys. Just one little bit more through those ankles. Use the chair or wolf to support you on. Just roll those ankles out. Just make sure we get all the synovial fluid going around that joint. Get them super prepared for what we're going to do to them today. Back the other way. So like I said, there's nothing heavy going on here. Small, isolated movements that can be really beneficial, not only for your workouts, but also in day-to-day -day life. If you experience a lot of sort of wrist or ankle weakness or pain, side to side with that foot. Anything like that, it's just gonna help you strengthen those up some of those symptoms. I really wanted to get something like this on here. As most of you know, I do have quite severe hypermobility in the sense of um, I'm not completely unstable, but I do get quite a lot of pain as a result. And some of the movements that we do in classes, not so much, um, just head up around the circle, not so much the dancey ones, as much as sometimes I grip my hands a bit too much and they get a bit painful, but um, anything that we do, any classes with any sort of weight bearing or holding onto the ripsticks in hand, things like that, then we put it the other way. They get quite uncomfortable and I think, you know, if these are hurting me to the severity that they do sometimes, in all honesty, then they might be uncomfortable for you too. Or anybody else coming to class that might have any type of additional mobility through those small joints. So here we are, working on them together as a team, the family that we are. Okay, lovely, right. So one other little thing we're just gonna do, I'm just gonna take all the rubbish off my chair. There's rubbish, there's some rubbish. So we're just gonna put those wrists on the chair, with the fingers just hanging off. And you're just gonna take a little lean slightly forward, just to stretch them out and then rock it back. See if I just turn my chair so you can see this side on as well. So you see, okay. Those hands are just hanging over that chair. My knees are close to that chair. I'm not going anywhere, it's nothing to do with the lower body. I just want those shoulders to come forward of those hands. So you can see I've just got that little extension there up the inside. Okay, the so that we want to look at as well is making sure those elbows are turned in here so they're not locking out, they're not turning out like that, they should be in, okay? So we're looking at that a lot today, and we're just rocking. So we're just warming through the palm of those hands into that wrist, warming up around those tendons. And also as we're moving through, we're just starting to get into those muscles as well.
that off, just doing some little isolated exercises. We're going to come into our towel first. I put this last, but actually, well not last, but last of the hand and wrist, but I want to do it first now. Okay. Um, so you can do this standing seated, however you please. We've got our towel, let me just pull a bit closer to the camera. So I've rolled it up, and all I want you to do is just twist. Okay. Maybe we can take a little bit closer together. Just twisting through, mobilizing that wrist. I'm just going to put my time on. So, I'm going to do about 30 seconds of this. Being careful not to overextend those wrists if you want to now. It's a bit of a funny exercise. It's a bit weird, doesn't it? So small. You're already doing a lot. It feels like in the wrist where these like that. Then I did just film the pizza last day as well, so my wrist are like, keep that going, Dan. Okay. So I'm able to do this for 45 seconds, because 30 seconds is too short. Do so I have a 50 second, 50, 50 second challenge over? The next thing we're going to do, we're going to grab your legs and your band. Let's go band first. forward, palms towards the body, that bag is just sitting, so yeah, a bit just above the wrist so it's not pulling on the joint. And then we're just going to take some little abductions here. So actually what we're doing is, we're sort of working through the shoulders, through the elbows, and we're keeping those wrists nice and still. So we're just creating a really light resistance just up here. Idea. We're just going to create that resistance. So now we're creating the resistance over the top of that wrist. As we pull those hands open, you're just going to squeeze those shoulder blades together as you span that band. Try not to lock through those elbows, keep them nice and soft. shoulders, strengthening those elbows as we squeeze them, pull through and keep those wrists nice and stable. Take a check, are they rolling out? Try and keep them facing each other. Identify where that weakness in those wrists are. These movements. Let's do it 
I've stopped timing. I can't look at the timer whilst I'm doing this, so I'm counting for you and going to the camera for music. I need to get a new timer. A nice big one that I can put up on the wall. <laughs> one more. I can't count on it all. <laughs> Lovely. Okay, so just want to go into those fingers slightly. So back onto our nice little towel. And instead of twist this time, I just want you to grip and loosen that towel. Okay. So squeeze tight and release. Squeeze, release. Good. Just gonna get again that slow fluid just moving around those fingers. We're gonna hold it five, four, three, two, one. Release again, squeeze four, three, two, one, release, and again, squeeze five, four, three, two, one, release, squeeze five, four, three, two, one, release. And again, let's squeeze it. Five, four, three, two, one, release. This time we're gonna go for 10. Are you ready? 10, nine, eight, keep squeezing. Six, five, four, knuckles are up. Three, two, one, release, good. Let's do two more of those, ready? Squeeze, nine, eight, seven, shiny forehead, ring lights too bright when I'm this close to the camera. Five more seconds. Four, three, two, keep squeezing, it's a nice tight squeeze. Oh, release, one more, are you ready? Shake it off. You don't think such a small movement would be so hard, huh? Ready, let's squeeze. 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, squeeze harder, two, one, release, lovely. Okay, just give those fingers a little bit of a wiggle. You're not going to like me for this one, I'm afraid. We are going to do slight body weight, but we're going to do it on our knees, okay? We're coming back to that timer. For a 30 second plank on our knees. So those hands are on both shoulders. Those knees are just back of those hips. Put a nice straight back. The shoulder weight is over those hands. Holding that plank there. Let's go. So the reason why we're doing it here is just to only allow some of the weight to go into those hands. about contracting that tummy. And we're just preparing these wrists for another time and we might want to go up into a high plank or two planks in here for our workout. It must be about 10 more seconds now. No, we're going to do it anyway. Four, three, two, one. Oh, shoot them out. I've got two different weights here because um, one of my rounds a lot harder than the other, personally. So again, you might want to do the same. You might want to have uh, two different small weights, one slightly more than the other. Again, when you identify where that weakness is, you will be able to uh, modify your weights accordingly. So, we're going to go three different directions. Resting those forearms on the chair in line with those shoulders. And you're just overhanging that chair slightly. And we're just going to duck the wrist. The knuckles are facing towards my wall. And my fingers are gripped facing 
inward, okay? So the dumbbell is upright. So imagine you're here, um, yeah? And we're just gonna flex through, down and up, okay? And we're gonna do 20 of these before we move on. Three. Slouching over that chair. Think about your posture still, okay? So you're not putting any weight through your shoulders and your elbows. You've got a nice straight line through that forearm from wrist to elbow. That's about 12, 13, 14. If you've got time, I definitely recommend repeating this workout three times. Fingers inward, 
nice alignment from that elbow and we're just flexing through that wristband and extending away for 20. Keeping a nice neutral wrist so you're not flopping off to one side. Try and keep that weight out of those elbows and out of those shoulders. knuckles to the floor, allow that wrist to relax, and we're going to curl up. Just from the wrist, remember that elbow stays on that chair, we're only working that wrist. Coming back to a nice neutral wrist, not allowing it to flop any further, most of you won't be able to anyway. showy stuff and the big movements and all the explosive movements, they almost trick us into thinking they're the only effective movements that we can do. So it's the little things like this that are going to protect us through those powerful movements and make us do them better. These are the things that we need to be doing to protect us against the aging process. Oh, she said we're going to take a look. Again, I'm changing that weight back over to the smaller one. We're going to turn those knuckles up. Oh, I've got this side already just on the way. <laughs> it's much weaker on this side. Right. Knuckles up. Just lift that way. Curling through. Lifting back into that neutral wrist. Not coming up any higher, okay? So it's a nice straight alignment. It's what we've got the chair for to help us find that nice straight line. Well, in some ways, it's a core first. It's good for that alignment. I think we should do a challenge actually, just a small joint strength and mobility challenge. One week. Maybe we'll do that. Small strength. Strengthen your smalls, gang. Oh, that's about four more. This might be the time one because I can't count what I'm talking. Two more. One more. Oh, lovely. So you can repeat those, I say, do 20 reps of each. Um, or time yourself 30 45 seconds with a little sort of rest in between if you want to do them back to back. We're going to move on though because we've got some other bits to do. So we're going to come into your ankles and your toes. So while we've not been using them for a little while, we're just going to warm them back up with a nice little pedal. Pedal through. Get that blood flowing again. It's kneeling on the floor. Mobilise the toes, mobilise the ankles. 
look at the knees more. Take it to a march. show you this side on but then I'm going to turn so I can use the chair properly. We're going to take a little extension out on that leg. You can keep it here or I want you to try and drop that hand and come back up. So 
I just turned sideways because I haven't really got the range that I need for the chair in front of me. So you're going to soften that knee, come down towards the toe with a nice straight back, squeeze the buttocks as you come back up. Okay, so here we go. Squeezing that hip forward as you come back up. Keeping the weight in that heel. Can you wiggle your toes? And you're squeezing that inner thigh. And you're keeping that stability for your ankle. We're just going to do 10 on this leg. And then we're going to change side. And then we'll revert back to that single leg squat on the other side.
just sitting just slightly above the ankle. You can it was like wide. Shoulder width, maybe slightly more. Okay, and I just want you to think about keeping those knees turned out. So don't let the band encourage you to sack those knees in and roll those feet. Your feet are going to stay flat. Again, you've got that weight evenly distributed across that foot. The knees turned out, you're switching on the outer thigh, you're switching on that bottom, particularly the outside of those butt cheeks, okay? Your knees come out in an alignment with that second or third toe. And you're going to keep those feet nice and full. So here you're just putting a little bit of extra resistance through those ankles. And you're then thinking about where your knees are, so they're not tucking in. They're just coming in a straight line out with those hands. You're squeezing up, squeezing that butt, bracing that tummy. You can still see your toes. You're sitting into that chair. Thank you. 